Hello everyone, this is Farun here. I am going to guide you what's new with the 5.6 version of the Landash dashboard. Inside the Landash dashboard 5.6, we have included a new uh, monetization report there that will give you like uh, how much earnings someone has done so far. So when we have the WooCommerce selling enable and uh, they have some admin commission. So we are also going to calculate all the sales made by the WooCommerce uh, when we are going to use uh, the close course functionality and uh, we have also have a functionality like fees deduction like a like the, you can calculate as a, as a tax deduction or um, transaction or payment gateway based standard deduction and uh, we can also enable a functionality like uh, they can also make a withdrawal request uh, using the paypal e-check or the bank transfer and uh, we can give them some uh, instructions how they process those details and uh, for the instructor point of view uh, we have a global commission rate like this one 80 percent and 20 percent you can change these values and at a as an instructor uh, we also have a, a functionality like this one where we can set a individual percentage uh, to a particular instructor so they have a global percentage if um, someone has a individual percentage has been set then this percentage is going to calculate instead of the global one and uh, based on how much uh, sales they are doing it's completely you uh, admin choice they can give them some more commission else by default uh, they will get the same global commission what has been set from the backend setting okay so we have a data like this one where we have all the pending and the approved uh, instructors um, like this one is the pending and these four are the approved one and for the monetization point of view when we have the commission report like this after some sale has been made uh, he will get uh, all the sales uh, which has been made like this was the $50 price and this was the $45 price and uh, based on the commissions uh, it was 80% commission set that's why this is the earning for that particular instructor and we have also included as a reference like a uh, WooCommerce order ID so they can check or uh, match inside the WooCommerce data also uh, like uh, 4699 that it should be order number of the particular order which was placed for that particular course now you can see that uh, this uh, person has been bought those two courses uh, $50 and um, inside this uh, purchase order we had uh, this course bought uh, with a $50 price and uh, when this person has bought this course um, they are going assign automatically assigned uh, to the course and uh, when going uh, we are going to use these functionalities all these data uh, like product data for the course and the course link up that will automatically done by the course creator like when their instructor is going to create a course these data will be auto populated and the product will also be created at the same time okay so we have the product ready so when someone is going to buy the product they will are getting the corresponding role or enrollment to a particular course okay and uh, for the instructor point of view so if you go to the front end like uh, this course belong to uh, a vendor uh, vendor name is uh, instructor uh, instructor name is uh, camellia uh, this course was belong to the camellia so we are going to switch to user camellia switch to we can also uh, we are using the user switching plugin to switch to that particular user now go to the dashboard so all the order what are placed for this particular instructor they are getting a instructor earning column and they are getting a total earning how much earning they have got from particular order and uh, if that particular instructor want to check who has ordered and um, which course was ordered so we have also have a new earning log tab here and they will have a details like this one this course has been sold uh, on this date on this time stamp and they can also export this csv file based on the payment mode like uh, if we are using the landash payment mode like uh, stripe or the people 
then it will display like a land dash stripe if that is a people that will it will display land dash people and if it is a woocommerce order then it will display the wc and uh, you can also filter them based on the date like suppose that uh, this is one sample data and if we have hundreds of order then we can filter them based on the date and we can also export them as a csd file okay and um, inside suppose that they have earning more than hundred dollar like uh, we have a set a third sort inside the back end so if they have a earning more than hundred dollar they can also make a request uh, for the withdrawal and uh, they can make a withdrawal request and that will goes to the back end and um, suppose that um, they have to include a fiscal address for this e-check for the bank transfer they have to give their bank detail where uh, the site admin can transfer the payment and for the people they have to sub give their people id so um, when we are going to request for this one so just uh, as a reference when someone is uh, going to request for the withdrawal then uh, that will be submitted for them uh, like this one currently uh, at present the total earning is uh, less than 50 dollar uh, 100 dollar that's why there's no withdraw request can be made now you can see that uh, the current balance is 38 dollar ready for the withdraw withdraw you can make a withdraw request and if you are going to make a withdraw request if you have balance is less than 38 dollar it will give you a notice like you cannot make a request unless you have 100 dollar and if someone is going to make a withdraw request after the they have the 100 dollar balance all the requests uh, are getting logged at a backend for the site admin uh, like this one uh, withdraw request and uh, site admin have uh, to approve it uh, or reject it from here when they are going to approve it then it will deduct um, the amount from their request and if suppose that uh, site admin is uh, declined that request then it will uh, also add the balance to your account uh, hopefully these things are clear if you have any questions contact us thank you